The video you're about to see has not been made by a railway expert, just a bumbling explorer. Welcome back to Outdoors Type, and this time we're standing outside the Cobb Dogler Irrigation and Steam Museum here in the Riverland of South Australia. Uh, up until the floods a couple of years back, uh, this museum uh, ran tours and train rides along a small uh, tramway running from here a few kilometres down the road to somewhere near Loveday. There is hope that this uh, steam railway will reopen, um, but we're hoping to see the return of services sooner rather than later. Let's go for a look around. When the Cobdogler irrigation area began, the area needed pipes to take water to Loveday and other areas. A government contract was let to the Hume Pipe Company in 1921 to make around 300 miles of pipes. The works covered 41 acres and employed 400 men. The government built a two-foot gauge railway line from Cobdogla Wharf along what's now the Loveday Road to the pipe factory at Loveday. There's absolutely no trace of the original line these days as the old route is now under Loveday Road. The Museum Railway follows the old Humphrey Channel Reserve to a railway crossing a few kilometres south of Loveday. Much of that channel has been filled in. The rails were collected from all over the region including the Yinkani Line and the yards at Pinaroo. This is a bit shorter than I thought she'd be. Um, we're uh, out here on uh, Shell Road um, and this looks like the end of the line. Um, we're probably only a kilometre or maybe two away. You've got one of the old communication boxes there. We're looking north now um, and it looks like the tourist tramway ended uh, around here where Shell Road crosses the tramway. Looks like there's an old turntable over there. We'll go and have a look. You can see the lines fairly 
lightly and uh, fairly roughly laid. Certainly no, um, certainly no welded rails here. This must be the uh, turntable um, where the small engines were turned. see here the uh, journey uh, is one uh, that uh, heads basically through uh, uh, grapevines. This does look like fairly heavy duty rail for the application. Uh, I'm not sure how many pounds this rail is but it certainly looks to be larger than would really be needed for a tramway like this. And another. The museum now operates from a workshop here in Loveday uh, at the site of the old SA Water Pumping Station. They uh, are restoring a uh, locomotive here and a number of steam engines. There's even uh, plans one day to have the railway run all the way from Cobdogla over to here. Well, there you have it folks, the Cobdogla Steam and Irrigation Museum Railway. Um, this line's not even that old and it's certainly not abandoned, but it's currently closed. The uh, passionate and hard-working bunch of volunteers are currently working on restoring steam engines. Um, they've even recently received a new steam engine from New South Wales um, and they're hoping that uh, sometime in the next year or so they'll regain access to their site here at Cobdogla and be able to open the museum and run steam train rides again. I'll be here to cover it when they reopen, so if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you then. Thank you.